you're moving up from the junior leagues to the major league. Now you become a player. We have just witnessed the most watched event in all time was this last Super Bowl. What kind of lesson have we learned? The Holy Rabbi Yisrael Baal Shem Tov, he's the founder of the Hasidim, has taught a beautiful lesson that everything a person sees, everything a person hears, is a lesson in life. Taking into account that everything happens with divine providence, Everything happens for a purpose and a reason. It's not serendipitous. It's not coincidence. It's not by chance or by accident, but it's rather by design. Everything that happens in your life and in my life happens by design. God Almighty orchestrates so many events for us to learn from them. So anything that you see, anything that you hear, always learn there's a lesson to be learned from it sometimes you can learn lesson right away sometimes it takes time to realize recognize ah now i understand why i became aware or i saw of a certain situation and then you learn from that our journey in life is a journey that continues on teaching. It's a journey, yes. When you go on a journey, you're always seeing something different, something new and something exciting and, and something that you haven't seen before. And that is what our life journey is truly all about. It's a journey that every day we wake up and we look around ourselves. We don't know what the day is going to bring us. But at the end of the day, Think back for a moment before you go to sleep. Pause and think. Say, okay, what did I learn from today? What have I accomplished today? What have I done today? And you truly think about it. Was I kind today? Did I take an opportunity to compliment somebody? Was I able to lift someone's spirits up today? Was I able to give charity today? And ask yourself the question, what made today special? What was meaningful today? So back to the Super Bowl. What can we learn from the Super Bowl? How do we win the Super Bowl? So it just reminds me of a story that happened many years ago where a young boy was getting ready for his bar mitzvah. Bar mitzvah is when a young Jewish boy turns 13 years old. They then become an adult. They become responsible in fulfilling 613 commandments. So yes, when a boy turns 13 years old, the parents look at the boy in the eyes and say, now you are a man. Now you are an adult. You are responsible. It's amazing what that does to a young child. And when they turn 13 years old and they cross through the journey from childhood to adulthood, not at 18 years old or 21 years old. This is 13 years old. The same thing for a girl. When a girl turns 12 years old, we tell her, now you are a lady. So this young boy was getting ready for his bar mitzvah. He lived in Brooklyn, New York. And his parents wanted him to get a blessing from the world's most renowned rabbi, Rabbi Schneerson, always otherwise known as the Rebbe. He was my rabbi. He was the rabbi that I grew up with. He was the rabbi who dispatched me and my wife to come here to San Diego 40 years ago to establish the Jewish community that we have established. So his parents brought him to the Grand Rebbe for an audience to get a blessing for his bar mitzvah. And the rabbi sits back in his chair and he looks at this young child, soon to become an adult, soon to become 13 years old, and asks him, do you like baseball? He says, of course, I love baseball. Those days where I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, the Dodgers was in Brooklyn, just a few blocks away at the Ebbets Field. And so the rabbi asked him, and the child was taken aback, why is the rabbi asking him about baseball? And he asked the child, so did you enjoy the game last week? 
And the child said, it was pretty good at the beginning, but at the sixth inning, they really did not do well. So the Rebbe said, what did you do? He says, well, I got up and left because there was nothing else to watch. Then the Rebbe asked him, what about the players? What did they do after the sixth inning? He says, oh, they kept on playing. And the Rebbe looks at him and asks him, why didn't they leave if the game wasn't going well? So the child smiles and says, Rabbi, they are the players. When you're playing, you have to play till the end. Me, I was just a spectator. I'm standing in the bleachers and just watching the game. They are the players. And the Rebbe looks at him with a great smile and says, this is what Bar Mitzvah is all about. Bar Mitzvah means that you are no longer standing in the bleachers. You are no longer a spectator, but now you become a player in the major leagues. When you are on the field, you are a player. And when you are a player, you don't stop no matter what. You play till the end. Now that you're coming up our mitzvah, you're moving up from the junior leagues to the major league. Now you become a player. And I thought about that story. What is my role in this world? Am I a spectator or am I a player? You make that choice. You make that decision. Are you going to run through life just standing on the sidelines and just being a spectator and watching others play? Or do you jump into the field and you become a player? You become the player. You become the one who takes action. You're the one who defends your position or you're the one who takes the offense and you make sure that your team succeeds and wins. That is the lesson that I took from the Super Bowl. And perhaps you can be inspired as well from it. Life is like one big game. But you want to be in the field. You want to be a player. There are three types of people in the world. There's one group of people who watch things happen. Like a spectator. There are other people that make things happen. Like the players. And there are some people who don't even know that it happened. It is our choices to decide which one are you going to be. You may have been a spectator until now, but now it's time, as they say, to step up to the plate. Now it's time for you to become a player, no matter what it is. You come to work, don't just stand by and watch, get involved. When you see something happening that needs to be corrected, you be the one to make the difference. You see someone getting hurt, you become the one and you step in to defend them. You see someone who needs assistance, you become the player. You get out there, you make things happen. Don't be the one who just watches things happen, but make things happen. But just remember that you were created by God for a purpose and a reason. You are an ambassador of God. You are an extension of God. You are a partner with God. God is counting on you to be a player. Not to be just a spectator standing on the sidelines and watching the plays happen right in front of you, but rather you become the player. We saw that in the Bible with Moses, and I always call that the Moses moment. Moses, before he became the most popular prophet of all times, he once in Egypt saw an Egyptian beating up a fellow Jew. Moses came and he looked around and he saw that there was no one there. So Moses could have just remained a spectator. He's seeing an Egyptian beating up a Jew. He could have just been a spectator and continued on. But he did not. What did he do? And this is what I call a Moses moment. He jumped into action. He defended his brother. And he removed the threat. Or as they say these days, the threat was neutralized. You too are going to be faced with a Moses moment. You too are going to be faced in a situation that you could either just be a spectator, you could be rubbernecking and just seeing something and just passing by, or you can become a player. 
you can do something. You become a partner with God and you act on behalf of God because God is counting on you. And that is what we learned from the Super Bowl. This is what each one of us need to remember to be a player. Don't just be a spectator sitting in the bleachers. Become an activist. Become someone who, who makes a difference. Each one of us were created unique. There aren't any two of us alike in the world. So each one of us has a unique mission. Each one of us has a uniqueness that only we can use. When God gave you that talent, God gave you that uniqueness. Don't squander it away. Use it. Act on it. Become active. Become an activist. Become a doer. Become a player. And you too will win the Super Bowl. You too will win your own Super Bowl. When you see that you are going to use your talents to make this world a better place, you are going to do everything that God gave you at birth. All the talents, all the energies, all the insight, all the wisdom, all the capabilities, and you're going to exercise it and really put it to work, then you are going to be the winner of your own Super Bowl. We all are in the game and we want to be part of the game. So be a part of the game. As the Maimonides teaches us, we are all to look at each other as we are on a balancing scale. It does takes one act to tilt the scale in our favor. When you become active, more active, and you become a player, that one deed can tilt the whole world in favor and bring redemption for us all. Because there's no one like you. There was never ever one like you. And no one will ever be like you. You are unique. You are special. You are God's ambassador. And God is certainly proud of you. God bless you. God loves you.